In this video, we are going to discuss about design for testability. It is also called as DFT. So, these techniques used to improve the fault coverage and to reduce the test length or coke. And it makes the automatic test pattern generation easier at the cost of design effort. And since uh, uh, it takes uh, uh, more area, there is a possibility of yield losses and increases in power and pin gets overloaded. So this also may cause performance degradation. There are three types of DFTs. One is ad hoc DFT. Second one is canvas design. And third one is list. This can based design is split into external and internal technique. In external, they are using JTAG and in internal, uh, they are using latch based uh, flip flops, LSST, and last uh, flip flop based uh, registers. Examples uh, like MUX, clock. So, if you see the um, ad hoc technique, uh, this ad hoc technique is uh, used for the particular design. So, here the larger circuit is uh, split into a smaller circuit. So, this will be intended for the smaller circuits. If uh, so there is a experienced person who designs this ad hoc. So ad hoc, yeah. for designing the ad hoc, uh, uh, experienced person is required in order to produce a uh, better design. See so this rules uh, for ad hoc is uh, I have already discussed in another video. So the objective of uh, ad hoc is to insert a test point in order to improve the controllability and observability. So, this uh, ad hoc technique is not systematic. It is, uh, there is no automatic tools are available, EDA tools are available. And it is also opposite to that of uh, structured DFT. So, here if you see uh, in the combination circuits, uh, if there is a uh, n number of inputs, uh, we require uh, 2 over n number of patterns. Suppose if n is equal to 20, uh, we require 1 million patterns are needed in order to test uh, any faults are there. So, if uh, the single pattern takes uh, 1 microseconds, uh, the total uh, time it takes to test the uh, entire model is it requires uh, uh, 1 seconds. Okay, so uh, this is the case for the combination circuits. But if I use a sequential module and if I want to test the uh, output, uh, fear the output in sequential circuits, the output depends not only on the input but also on the previous iterator. So, um, here in the FSM, the applications of uh, uh, instead of 2 power n, here you have 2 power m plus m input pattern, where m is the number of the set registers. So, if the m is uh, 10, so it requires 1 billion pattern must be evaluated. So, it will take some uh, 60 means, uh, okay, uh, on our 1 microseconds pattern testing equipment. So, the modeling uh, modern uh, microprocessor as a state machines, uh, which translate into an eco, eco model with over 50 set registers. 
So the exercise testing of such an engine would require a billion years. Okay. So here uh, in uh, sequence circuits, uh, you have to specify the initial uh, uh, state, right? So and uh, uh, so in order to make the uh, convert the sequence circuits into a common circuits, the feedback has to be re removed. Right, and uh, and uh, if you see, uh, 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 only if uh, um, if a uh, small, if uh, one uh, test vectors, uh, if it is able to um, find only a single false, uh, so. Uh, uh, in this, uh, the number of input pattern also has to be very less. Alright. So, uh, we need to make sure that uh, the, the test pattern which we are giving uh, will try to cover uh, 95 to 99% of uh, fault. So, we are considering the disability of the design. Uh, so, the two properties are foremost importance. One is uh, controllability and the next one is observability. So, what does controllability mean? So, it measures the ease of bringing a circuit node to a given condition using only the input pane. So, here, if you see, I have uh, chosen a Y node which is easily controllable. That is, it can be brought to any condition. That is, uh, uh, it can be uh, 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 make it to 0 or 1. Right? By connecting uh, uh, the AND gate. So, if I connect uh, AND gate uh, uh, AND gate and uh, one of the input is uh, 0, so it can be easily can the y can be easily controlled to zero. Right. So if I want to make it as one, I can use R gate and uh, uh, one of the input of the R gate is uh, one. Therefore, uh, it can be uh, easily controlled to one. Say so a node with a low controllability, which need a, which needs a log sequence of factor to be but to a desired state. So, uh, we must make sure that there uh, is a, a higher degree of uh, controllability is desired in the testable design. So, next uh, let us come to the observability. So, in the observability, um, it means it measures the ease of observing the value of the node at the output T. So, a node with higher observability can be monitored directly on the output P. So, a, a node with a low observability means a number of cycles before its states appears on the output. So, I have discussed the scan based design and this technique. Uh, uh, in that, I have DWD discussed about the observability. And I have also uh, solved a problem on controllability and observability. So, in the given composite of the circuits and the limited number of output pin, a testable circuit should have a high, uh, higher observability. So, this is the exact purpose of the test techniques. Okay. So, the combination circuits will fall under the class of easily observable and controllable circuits since any node can be controlled and observed in a single circuits. Uh, but, uh, so in order to uh, test the sequential module, so DFT can be divided into uh, three categories. Uh, that is what I have discussed the other uh, scan based system and the cell test.